Hey, hey, what is up, guys? What is good? Welcome to episode 61 of Player Life. It is Wednesday, the 10th of February, here in Tokyo. Uh, we got Winston Wolf in the house. What is good, my brother? Good, uh, good day to you. Um, yeah, so uh, I had a had a long day here in Tokyo. Um, got up early. Uh, went, you know, aped into more more ETH. Took out, took out uh, some more money from the bank and and bought some more ETH from from a from a contact. But um, yeah, has to be done. Now is the time, you know. Twenty twenty, you know. Uh, hindsight is twenty twenty vision. I wish I took action sooner, but uh you know better late uh than never um especially especially when the crypto market is going as crazy as it is there's just so much money to be made it's insane there's also so much money to be lost <laughs> if you if you don't put it in the right coin or you don't you don't do the right thing but yeah you gotta be you know if you're not in you cannot win but i am definitely in I am balls to the wall. I am, yeah. I went full retard. Never go full retard. Not not financial advice. But, you know, when you do go full retard, the uh, financial rewards can be can be good. Um, other than that, <clears throat> I was, uh, last night was funny. I was just chilling. It was like after midnight. And uh, this chick that, that flaked on me uh she was supposed she was gonna come around on sunday and uh she she flaked uh she flaked so it's um you know it's 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 all chicks generally generally tend to flake i've noticed that chicks uh yeah they're more likely to flake if uh, they get very sexual in, in the in if they're the ones to get very sexual and it escalates and you start sexting uh, before you even meet so I, I I'm always aware of, of that and she did flake um so she said yeah she said she was busy or, or something came up and she couldn't actually meet so whenever chicks do that I always I always put them on the you know you know it's like okay I'm this chick as it is, I don't go out of my way to meet me chicks like too with too much effort. Like I'm not gonna go, you know, unless she's super hot and you know I'm free and all the all this other stuff, you know. But anyway, this chick was, you know, she's so so. Um, oh, she was sending some nice nice pictures, to be honest. But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm spoiled for choice, you know. Whenever, yeah, you know, pretty much the only thing that gets that gets me motivated these days is like a, a 21 year old hottie like if it's if she's 30 or, or if she's like in her late 20s or early 30s it's like yeah I'm, I'm definitely not gonna make too much of an effort i have better things to be doing yeah, 21 year old hotties they're they're the ones that i might go out of my way to meet like go on a proper date with but uh anyway yeah I'm, I, ranting on but anyway she she came through i was chilling at my house last night and she said um i'll read out the exchange i'll read it out um do 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 so she just hit me up out of the blue and uh da, da, da. yeah so she just said i'm going to pass just out of the blue she said i'm going to pass your station on the way home and I just said, uh, I just said now, and she said, "Haha, don't worry, I'm headed home. Just thought of you." And I said, "Such a tease and wink." Uh, I said, "She said Megaro Line or or whatever it's called. I could get off." So I said, "Yeah, you should get off." And then she says, "Okay, which exit?" I say, "West exit." And she says, "Are you sure?" Um, I said, how long will you be? She says, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, and then 
Uh, she says, I'm actually just two stops away at, at Meguro now. I said, okay, I'll go and meet you now. So it was just like that within within five minutes. Honestly, it's so it's so easy for girls to get laid. Like, you know, they can just call a guy and this immediately. Like, I'm a dog, so I'm gonna do it. You know, I'm like I was I was free. I mean, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't desperate for sex or anything. I'm, I'm, I can get I can get laid anytime I want. But the thing about me is I, I don't I don't often turn down sex. Like, um. I just have a high sex drive, but anyway, so yeah, it's just, it's just funny how chicks can do that and they just, they can get, you know, they can just get guys like, boom, like just go and get laid. It's so easy. It's so easy for chicks. But anyway, she came over and, um, well, I met her at the station, you know, the station is like five minutes from my house. So I just rolled over, uh, picked her up at the station and, uh, I was like, what are you up to? Why are you, why are you out so late? It was after midnight. And she said she was at a, a work party. But I didn't, you know, she was kind of a little too dressed up for a work party. She was wearing these kind, she was wearing this little mini check skirt and with these like kind of thigh high sheer black stockings. It's kind of way too sexy for a work event. So I was thinking, yeah, she was probably on a date. And I was like, worst case scenario? Wor okay, let's say best case scenario. She's on a date and she's like, the guy just has no game. Or maybe, you know, she goes on a date with this guy. He might be good looking or whatever. He has no game. He doesn't turn her on. And she decides not to go home with him. Or he doesn't make a move or I don't know. And she she's just like still thirsty for some dick, so she calls me up on her way home. All I know is she was not at a at a work do. Like I said, way too sexy for for work do. I, I you know this chick was an American chick, by the way. Yeah, she was not she was not Japanese either. Um, yeah, I, rare, I rarely meet meet white American chicks. I don't, you know I've talked about it before. I don't. You know, there's there's kind of tension, there's beef. Like I don't, especially with Americans, I, I I can't. You know, when I get that attitude, I'm gonna give it right back to them, and then it just creates this like, you know, I can't stand American chicks. It's few and far between. I I don't. It's rare that I made a cool American chick, but this this chick was all right. We didn't. Let's just say we didn't have much. We didn't get into many deep discussions. Like, we we got down to brass tacks, but. Um, yeah, like, yeah, so best case scenario, yeah, she, she basically, you know, came over to Alpha Chad here, got some Chad dick, but, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I left that guy, whoever she was on the date with, I'm guessing she was on a date, you know, whatever, these chicks always lie, you know, they're full of shit, um, she was not at a work, dude, that's all I know, uh, worst case scenario, she, like, she actually, did like sleep with some guy and I got sloppy seconds but who knows I'll never know I didn't ask you know she just said she was at a work do and I I didn't ask questions but I uh, yeah I walked her you know she, we came back here which pretty much just like got straight into it um yeah she was pretty good um I don't know it's like you know but you know, I'm I'm just I'm attracted to sexy sexy chicks, but I don't know. Since living in Japan, it's like you kind of you get like kind of spoiled. But just the quality of, of the women here is just like so much higher. The quality of of like even even a Japanese girl, even her skin, like it's so much smoother than an a than a Western like pretty much any other you know especially Western girl, white girls, black girls, there's Jap Asian girls skin is like super smooth. Like it doesn't have that, you know, like, you know, you, when you get cold, you have those like, it's like called chicken skin. When you get cold, like it's like, it's like, it's like kind of rough. Like these Western girls have this like kind of rough skin, but Japanese girls have these like smooth, like it's like a, it's fucking like a, like an oily seal. Like they're not, it's just so smooth. It's just amazing, but yeah. So you kind of, it's kind of not as feminine, 
I noticed when when I'm with these you know non Asian girls, there's like way more masculine. But um, yeah, Winston says Western girls have scales. Yeah, indeed, indeed they do. Uh, Rishi in the house. What is up, my man? What is good? Spark fifty five. What is good? Uh, Javier. What is good, man? What is good? Yeah, but no complaints. I mean, it was it was it was still a good time. I guess uh, we fucked a few times, and you know, I kind of would have rather you know. It's not sometimes it's annoying actually when when chicks come over that late because it's like, you know. They're not so hot where it's like I want them to stay all night. Like it's like shit. It's really late. She's gonna want to stay. And yeah, and she did. She she did want to stay. I could have kicked her out, but I'm not. I'm not that mean. I let her. I let her crash. But I'm, that's just me. I don't know. I'm just selfish. I'm just a selfish dude. Um, if I was in a bad mood, maybe I would have. Or if she was annoying, she was all right. She did. We didn't talk. I didn't bring up anything political or anything because i know i knew she was from california i knew like she she had a few there was a bunch of there was a few red flags she had some weird tattoos and stuff but um i knew if i brought up anything political or it would just really turn me off by her she would you know but lo luckily we didn't even get that far it was very let's just say it was very physical and um yeah, just went to sleep. But uh yeah, I mean that's the thing. I don't some guys get um some guys get a little bit butthurt when they girls flake on them, but I don't I don't get emotional about it, you know, and they might end up blocking chicks and that, you know. Last night's a prime example uh, where I don't, you know, uh, as to why I don't like I don't react to when chicks um you know, flake. Like, if I get stood up, of course I'm gonna like, you know, that's way too far. But like, if it's a if a girl, you know, lets me know I can't meet, yeah, yeah. If she lets me know in advance, it's like fine, yeah, whatever. But like, I know that I'm like she's getting downgraded. She's like, you know, completely. You know, the more a girl flakes, even one time, it's like okay. It's like it's there's you don't have. You're not you're definitely not getting a date you're just it's only like house date like but um, i just don't get emotional about it i don't get like oh like, you know and start deleting or going off oh, why the fuck didn't you come i don't do that because then then you're definitely not getting any um but yeah i was just like whenever she said um when she said oh yeah something came up i just say oh yeah yeah maybe some other time and that was it like you know and then she came through so that's why you don't you don't don't react like to when girls uh you know do pull stupid shit because they're kind of sometimes they're looking for that they're looking for a guy that that has that kind of desperation well well they're not looking for it but they're kind of weed out those kind of guys that that are too needy and kind of banking too much and that's also a sign of of uh of uh neediness like of a guy if a guy gets too angry about a girl that flakes, it shows that he doesn't, he's kind of desperate for sex and he doesn't really have that many options. So that's why he's getting really, that's why guys get emotional and, and like guys get attached to and get too excited about dates. That's a bad thing. You should never be getting excited about dates, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, you should never be like, oh, like, you, oh my God, like I have to, you know, you should just be like, oh, this is just another another uh, encounter. It's like nothing. Like, and you know, whatever happens, happens. Obviously, you're trying to make it so that you know you you get laid and you're you're taking steps towards uh, uh, you know you're arranging the date so it will lead towards sex. But you know, you can only do so much. Um, some guys can think like, oh, you know. I have to I have to do it or uh, what am I going to say? I need to write out how am I going to keep the conversation going? Uh, it's like, it's so like, it's the, it's the wrong way to be thinking. You should just be thinking, I don't give a fuck. I don't give two shits. Like, you know, she better have something good to say. You know, she better not be annoying. Yeah. Think like that. This chick better not. I hope this chick isn't annoying. 
you should that's that's how i roll up today these days i roll up to, if if it's from the internet from dating app i'm thinking i hope this girl's girl is hot hope she's not annoying um what's her name again i check her name like you know sometimes i, I roll up to these dates and i like i don't even know their name because it's like I, it's just like i don't really care <laughs> it's just, i have to i'm like I'm rolling up and she's, I'm looking at my phone just last minute. It's like, what's this chick's name again? Yeah. And I just, um, but it's just that casualness that comes across. Like when you, when you're like, um, you know, chicks will read into that. They, they'll understand that this is a guy that knows what he's about. Like uh, the confidence level, you know? Yeah. A lot, sometimes, you know, I, I wouldn't, it's not even a thing that I do on purpose, but, I, I, you know, I think it's just a thing. I end up, I show up late today. It's like not really late, but like, you know, maybe five minutes late or something or a few minutes late. I'm never, I'm never directly on time. That's, you know, and I don't, I, it's not a technique. It's not a strategy, but I think that, that again shows them that I'm kind of, that kind of shows them that I'm, I'm not that desperate. I think yeah you know, I don't I don't know if, if even I'd recommend doing that but that's just me and I and that I do think it it kind of suits me in a way but um yeah so it, it shows like a guy that a guy that's really anxious about a date and like really banking on it and and putting all his eggs in one basket and he's ex too gets too excited about it will be there like 10 minutes beforehand like look like pay, you know, getting all nervous so I just roll up I just like, well, <laughs> I remember there was this chick. I was like, I think I smashed her like three times. And I, I still, I just never like memorized her name. Like I just, you know, I, I don't know. I just, it's just, uh, who cares? <laughs> I guess <laughs> it was so awkward one day. She just goes, do you know my name? Do you even know my name? And I was like, oh, just let me, let me check my phone there. But that's a, that's the kind of thing, you know, you know, that, you know, blue pill guys cannot cannot understand. You know, how guys like me that don't even go to the trouble of learning a girl's name, <laughs> and we, you know, they'll blue pill guys will, you know, be, break, you know, bend over backwards like trying to, you know, simping and doing all this shit, and they'll they'll get nothing in return. And guys like me rolling up late, like not even knowing their name properly, like you know, just like not really caring, you know just hoping that they're hot that they're that they're not annoying and that i have sex that's you know that's what i that's what i pretty much hope for when i go on a date um you know uh do 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 javier says girls in certain areas of the world have really oily or dry skin based on the climate that is very very true um yeah like i don't know japanese women are blessed with with like really smooth like kind of luscious like skin i mean it obviously depends on, on on the girl but i think in general and it's to do with them skin the way they do skin care here as well but naturally they don't have as big uh, pores i think in their skin so even when they're cold you know like when a white chick uh, like when a white chick gets cold or white people the skin gets like kind of it's called like chicken skin so it gets like you know it's it's not smooth it's like kind of it has those like pores raised pores or whatever um i don't know it's just like that's way more asian chicks don't really have that as much it's like much smoother and it's weird it's it's great actually i love it but <laughs> it's like you know um Javier says, sometimes when you travel to a different climate, your skin may act up or maybe it could be just genetics too. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it affected. I think the, the climate in Japan suited almost uh, suited me better than Ireland. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, I don't know. I used to get like dandruff in Ireland, but then again, you know, um, I, I stopped, I stopped using, uh, like shampoo around um around like three or four years ago i literally don't use shampoo i only use i don't use shampoo um 
uh, in the case if if my hair got like physically physically dirty like if something you know maybe if i went swimming in a, a lake or something but ever since i stopped using shampoo uh i stopped getting dandruff like completely and it's not it's not that my hair like if you have short hair and you, you you get you still get dandruff i would suggest like trying to stop like using uh shampoo like com like completely i i thought you know I thought it would be really dirty, but it's not. Like obviously, I still wash my hair, but it's just, I just use a comb and hot water, and there's like I don't get dandruff. It's amazing, uh, you know. Uh, if you go like when chicks come over, they're like they can't believe it. They're like, I literally just have like bars of soap in in my shower, like just soap, like hand soap, like you know. And they're like, what? You, you, how do you only have this? And I'm like, because you know. I don't, that's all I need. You know, obviously I wash my body and um, sometimes I wash, I, I put some in the beard, but only in, in the hair, just, I use a comb just to, you know, hot water. That's enough. Like, and I don't, I don't get dandruff anymore. If I use, if I use shampoo, it dries out, dries out, dries out my hair, dries out the scalp and I, it gets all flaky. I don't know. Um, that is uh, my random random hair tip for the day uh, since we're talking about skin but yeah i mean if you've never been with a, an asian girl man you're missing out you know um it's like i don't know just the quality quality of the of the skin it's like you know obviously as men we're like attracted to like soft smooth like feminine you know asian women are just all about that um but not not to say that there there isn't you know isn't uh you know there there's beautiful women in 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 every every country or every every race every ethnicity but there's different there's levels to it there's levels to it for sure but um do 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 uh yeah so today yeah i was going to just talk more about uh how i found the the red pill today but before i do that i want to show this uh this clip that i like i i need to find it um it's about you know you you'll you hear it um i'll share it <clears throat> With the fucking negativity is, first of all, you're sabotaging yourself and you're basically paying yourself nothing special. No. First of all, you're sabotaging yourself and you're basically paying yourself to do fucking nothing. And the second thing is that um, when you have negative thoughts like that, they come out on your fucking face. Like people, yeah. people know, people know instantly if that's where your head is at. And it's like a repulsive thing like nobody wants to talk to you nobody wants to be your friend nobody wants to and that's one of the hardest things about um like not getting pussy when you're like 20 years old or 22 is like the resentment over not getting pussy makes you more repulsive it makes you more repulsive than you could ever imagine when you're not getting pussy and getting pussy is like getting money and if you're not getting money and you're bent out of shape over it and it's like eating at you and it's this blackness inside you then it's uh it's a recipe to get not more money what's this pretty puppy start i did the snowpack in the wheels all winter i did the uh open ground for the bottom uh, right. to get the rust on the cv boot and the joint no i just i just saw that clip and um it was uh i just like i like how he describes it <coughs> excuse me uh you know when you're not when you're not getting pussy, you know, you build up uh, resentment in you, and it's it's really hard to hide, and uh, that kind of resentment, like you know, it just you know, I, we all I always talk about it, but uh, you know, women can kind of smell that resentment off you, and women kind of become repulsed by it. Um, that's why you kind of have to if you're not actually getting laid. 
if you're having a dry spell, you kind of have to like hypnotize yourself or like fake it. You have to convince yourself that you are actually, you know, getting pussy and and that you are like, you know, because uh, if you get like, you know, negative about it and you dwell on it, on the fact that you're not getting any and you, you know you deserve, you, sh you know you should be, you think you deserve that, you know, deserve to be getting pussy, um, you're just going to kind of spiral into this like kind of negative, uh, there's going to be a negative uh, aura, aura around you. Um, and, you know, like the same thing he was saying about money, I guess it's the same thing. It's like when you're really kind of, when you become too desperate for something, you know, it, it creates this kind of negativity. Um, let's see. Winston says, shout out to my buddy on a 283-week dry spell. Well on his way to 300. That's insane. That week, 283-week dry spell. It's so unacceptable. It's so like, you know, that's a long time. That's a really, really long time. One, two, three, four. It's about how that's over five years. Is that true? It's like over five years. Um, without getting pussy. I mean, I'm not the type of guy that that will ever happen to because I'm just such a dog that I would never allow it to happen. And even if there was for some reason, I'm not ashamed to say it. Like if there was some reason that, I, you know, you know, if 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 I didn't, you know, have game or I just was disabled or something, I would get a hooker. I'm not. It's not even advice to anyone. Like it's not even. I don't suggest guys do that because you do, most guys don't need to do that. But like, if you're going like five point five years without getting laid, I mean, god damn. Like, what's the point? What's the point, you know, what is the point in living? Like, life is short. You might as well, like, enjoy, you know. Sex is one of the best things about life. Like, it really is. Like, I mean, you know, obviously it's not everything. It's not like, oh, it's not like the every. there's more to life than it. Like, there's other things. But if you're not, it's one of those good things that you should be, everyone needs to be doing. <laughs> like, everyone needs to be getting laid. Um, every guy needs to be getting laid. At least... If you're a guy, if you're a young guy, you need you need to at least be getting laid once a month. Like, I mean, that's not even that much, but honestly, you should be getting laid once a week. But I mean, once a month, you'll you know you you can pass for. But five point five years, that's like that's like celibacy. You might as well join the priesthood. You know, you might as well be a priest. I mean, if you're going on five point five years on a dry spell, like. It's like, why? You don't need to do that. No one needs to do that. Unless it's some kind of vocation, you know. Um, does he have a religious vocation? Like, how, how could he tolerate that length of time? You know, I would, you know, I'd say, you know, for, for some crazy reason, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, get laid for, uh, if, it went, if it went up to a year, not even a year. Be like, if I couldn't get laid for some reason, I lost all my game, lost all my skills. I turned into a complete slob. I just, for some reason, I would, I would get a hooker. I' not proud to say it. I, you know, but you know, I, you know, it's not even, a, it's not even advice. Like it's, it's just like that's the truth. Um, so I don't know. Um, five point five years. I don't know. That's insane. Uh, but yeah, it happens. There's guys out there. There's, you know, I know that we're living in that world of uh, haves and have nots, you know, uh, there's going to be people who have, and there's going to be people who haven't, and there's going to be very few, you know, it's, we all, we've heard a million times, the 80, 20 rule, where there's 20% of guys banging 80% of the women. And there's a lot of guys probably like your friend. Um, uh, da, 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 da. You know, there's a lot of guys um, that are just probably like that, uh, like your mate. Um, Winston says, I don't think it can be religious vocation with 2,000 hand extracted nuts since. Yeah. That's probably another reason. You know, that's another whole rabbit hole you could go down there because, you know, if you're, um, 
if you are, you know, beating the meat, you know, um, like every day, I let me first say that I'm not one of these semen retention. Like I, I can see the benefits of it. Like, but I'm not like a. I'm not like, oh, you have to retain your, your semen 100% of the time. Like, you know, like honestly, if I'm, if I'm really, if I'm really fucking, uh, if I really need to sleep and I don't have any chicks around me and I can't sleep, I'm in bed. I'll, I'll bust a nut. Like, you know, it has to be done sometimes. It's not like something that, um, you know, it's, it's not something that I'm like, oh, like never, never beat your meat. Like, it's like never bust a nut. Like, but um. Obviously, if he's a chronic, if you turn into a chronic masturbator, um, you know, that's going to really affect uh, your drive to um, to uh, source women. And it, it is like there is merit to like, you know, semen retention, but I, it's just not like I had a friend like he was a good friend, cool guy, but he was like he was 100 percent like never, ever, ever like beat your meat and i was like dude like i get it i get them i i understand the sentiment it is important not to do it like all the time like you know it's less is better the less you do it is much better but like never you don't it's not so like it's not you're not gonna die you're not gonna like oh you're not gonna turn into some little like weak slob like uh you know, beta male slob. If you beat your meat like once every once every so often, like, it's not that big a deal. Um, you know, uh, it, it's it's probably it's. I think it's probably actually counterproductive to never do it. Also, like unless you're getting laid every day. Like if if you're having sex every single day, um, then yeah, you you don't need to beat beat your meat at all. But um. You know, it's uh, if you're not busting nuts, that's I think that's like that can cause cancer. I think that can actually cause like uh, testicle or cancer. I, I, I'm not even I'm not a doctor, obviously. I don't know, but I heard that somewhere. I um, you yeah, believe it? It's natural. Like we're we're supposed to release release the goods like on a regular basis. So if if you're not doing it, that's also not bad. As that's also not a good thing either. Um, another thing, if you're never busting nuts, like, and you're not getting laid, then, you know, when it comes to the real deal, you're not gonna, you're not gonna have any fucking ability to like last, you know, that's why you should be like, you're going to be shit at sex, basically. Like, um, yeah. So obviously I think I'm, I'm, uh. I'm not like some extreme, like semen retention extremist, but I'm. I'm also, I understand the uh, benefits of like n not like being a chronic fucking masturbator because that is fucking lame as fuck. And that's gonna obviously every time you bust a nut, your your sex drive uh, goes down. Like so, you know that's obviously you know when you're with a chick. And you've just smashed and you're like, you know, you just chill. You're like you're like, you're not your 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 sex drive is like zero and then depends on what kind of animal you are, like it, it can go back up really quick or or you know, some guys some guys bust a nut with a chick and they're done. Like they're done for the night, like the it's over. Like for me, I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet, but I you know, if the chick is like really my type, I, I can I can go like all night like um yeah even if i'm not into the chick i i can i can go three times like easily if i'm into the chick it's like seven six seven five six seven eight eight times but um another thing it's not really about the it's not actually about the 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 the, the amount of times it's more about the the quality quality of the sex like you don't need to be like going that many times like it should just be really each round should be like really really good uh sex like you don't um just and another thing is like guys freak out about the length of time they have sex it's it's not about the length of time of course it's not you can't be like busting a nut after like 
six minutes. Like, you know, that's, but some guys think, oh, if I have sex for an hour, that, that means it's really good sex. No, like some, just the length is not the, the important thing. It's, it's, it's the, it's the quality of the sex. Like the ideal length of time, like a round of sex should be, in my opinion, is like around, like, I would say like 20 to 30 minutes or even 15 to 30 minutes, you know, or even, you know, it depends really. It's all about, you know, just making it really good. And if you do make it really good, those chicks will, will be back. Like you can, you can be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm just going to bust a nut and, you know, I'll kick her out. But if you do that, she's probably not going to be back for more. Um, yeah, you know, just because uh, there's other, you know, there's there's stiff co competition out there. No pun intended. Um, who we got? Da, 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 da. Rishi, my man. I'm on a dry spell too. Well, you gotta fake it till you make it. Cause we we heard our buddy Sam Hyde saying the, uh, you know, as long as you're not, you can't get bitter about it. You know, you need to, you need to like, um, you need to just get motivated to, to, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, source women, you know, you can, you know, obviously it's, uh, you should keep, uh, if you're, if you're, uh, masturbating, you should, you should keep that to a bare minimum. You know, like I said, I'm not an extremist where it's like, never do it. Like, don't do it. Like, no, you should do it. Like every guy should do it if he's not getting laid occasionally, because it, you know, like I said, when you, when it comes down to actually getting laid, you're not going to have any, you're just going to bust your nut straight away. Um, but, uh, yeah, when you're on a dry spell, to be honest, like sometimes, sometimes I, in the past I have like. I've had a, I've had like a, I've, I had like a, a harem, a bunch of chicks and it's like, I got bored basically. So I just, I just cut all ties and I just started afresh. So I was like, I had like, I've done this multiple times, but so I start off like on a fresh slate and I just go and, you know, and that means I have no, like, you know, I just don't have any, any women around me. So it motivates me to source new women, and uh, you know it's, sometimes it, it's, you need that motivation because you can get too comfortable. But that's obviously that is different. That's slightly different to being on a on a involuntary dry spell. But um, you know, uh, Rishi says college consumes so much of my time. Yeah, I mean, you're in college. I mean, college is like I I uh, I talked yesterday about how I wished. I was uh, red pilled in college because college is is a really really great hunting ground. Like you know, I was I when I was in college, I only I relied entirely on on a uh, night game, and you know that's that's fine. But I mean, that's all right. But that you know, I got laid from that. But I could have gotten I could have done so much better if I was just more social with chicks and and you know invited them invited them for coffee invited them over for dinner in my place like i could have cleaned up and you can too you should be doing that you're in college you should be you should be approaching chicks arrange trying to arrange dates you know if, i don't know where your college is but um college is, if you know you should be you should be on that um Javier says, learn and mimic the behavior until you get the results. If the if the mimic behavior, it's like doing an apprenticeship. The first year is going going to tough, but after I will, the behavior will become ingrained. Um. Okay. Uh. Tr -tr -tr -tr. Yeah. Javier says, prostate cancer from not busting nuts. There you go. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's definitely um, something. Yeah, I've, I think that's the one. Yeah, so obviously, yeah, semen retention is is not not the best idea, not the best idea. Um, it's com it's it's just unnecessary too. 
I I do think um I do think uh you know obviously yeah less is better less porn is better because you know porn is obviously addictive guys are guys are very visual guys are very visual creatures so we we're very you we can actually get addicted to porn like it's very easy for men to get addicted to porn because it's like we can actually our imaginations are also so strong that we we start to think it's like our brain thinks it's real you know it's like unlimited access to unlimited uh variety on on the internet so it's it's not a good thing to you know you you guys end up with erectile dysfunction from from watching too much internet porn because they they get they get some they develop some fetish that's like too particular or and they can't like re recreate it in in life or or maybe they're not or maybe they don't have the um the confidence to recreate that fetish but it's still bad because they're they're digitally virtually creating like developing a sexuality not in real life and everyone comes around to the real thing like a real woman they they can't perform it's it's yeah that's all also not a good thing but yeah i'm not like i'm not like oh my god if you if you see some porn you're gonna like get erectile dysfunction no it's like it's like the guys that are watching it every single every day if you're watching porn every single day and beating your mate to porn if you're busting a nut to porn every day, you have a problem. It's not a good thing. Um, if you're busting your nut to porn once a week, meh. You know, you know everything in fucking like um, you know moderation. Um, less is better. You know, it's just uh, if you become reliant on that shit, seriously bad for your for your actual sex life. Um, uh do 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 az marine sniper says you don't want to be a two pump chump yeah i mean that's that's the thing that's the guy that will happen with uh that will happen with with uh semen retention for sure you just won't you be your your dick will be too sensitive your balls will be too full you just bust a nut and yeah that'll be it um yeah but uh guys need to learn as well how to like yeah over when you start having a lot of sex like like when you've had when you get really experienced it's like you can decide when you come it's not a thing it's not like you know it's not like in the movies where it's like oh like you just like you start to uh, like when you develop a you know when you understand sex when you get really into it you, you'll learn you're you, you eventually like you can come you can go for like you can decide when you come, like you know, um, you know it's not like it's not like you're just gonna you, you slip your dick in and you, you can't control it. Like obviously when you start and you you're inexperienced, that's what happens. But after years of doing it and with like hundreds of girls, it's like you you can actually I can anyway I can I can decide. I'm like you have to read you have to read the girl to understand like where you know where she is has she has she come or not. You know, girl, women are obviously obviously very. It's it's not it's not as clear cut. You know, um. Obviously, when men come, it's like there's no there's no amb ambiguity about it. It's just like it is what it is. But women can come in so many different ways. Like there's there's so many. You know, there's like sometimes they jack women like squirt sometimes they they can come even without squirting it's like they can have a clitoris um uh orgasm they can have a g-spot orgasm there's there's it's complicated it's weird it's like and some women never experience orgasms like they never experience it it's weird you know i think for for men sex is always good like it's all even when it's bad it's it's kind of good but for women it can actually be bad like it can just be a, not a good time or it can be fucking unbelievably good. That's what I think. That's why I mean, that's part of the reason I think why another one of the reasons why women aren't that into, they don't appear to be, well, it's not only that they don't appear to be into sex that much, but they aren't as into sex as much as men. But when they are into it, they're into it 
just as much or even more. It's because sex for women can be like much more pleasurable if it's done right. Um, their orgasms are much more intense, but it's 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 just a more it's a harder thing to achieve with women. Um, yeah, so that's some some women that actually can't orgasm like they you know or they've never had one. They they're not really they're not into sex or you know they just don't enjoy it. Um, do, 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 do. Spark fifty five says, "Yo, Rishi, find some time, even do do cold approach and just shoot the shot." Yep, cold approach, shoot the shot. You know, start asking chicks out. You know, if you're in college, you know, ask ask to have lunch with chicks. You know, what are you doing? Let's have lunch. Let's go. Like, shoot your shot. You know, college. No one gives a shit. Um. Well, actually, a lot of people give. You know. A lot of people are self-conscious in college. I was, but I mean, you should—you just need to come through that. It's a very good, it's a very fertile environment to get laid if you try. Um, you know, I don't know where you're at, but if it's a, you know, um, have your says put yourself in every situation to bang. Have study groups and run social group game. Very, very good point. Yeah. Social, social, social circles, um, study groups, you know, hey man, it's just there's so many opportunities in college. I mean, um, it's uh, it's a really, it's a really, <laughs> really good time if you have a game. Uh, you know, I, I wish I did, but I didn't. But I, I know, you know, you can do it. It's not too late. Get on it. Um. If I was back in college, I'd be, I'd be back, I'd be inviting chicks back. You know, I'd be inviting chicks to lunch and just walking them straight back to my apartment. I remember one time I used to live near the college. You know, never, you know, never did that, but I know I could have. I remember back to all the times where, you know, I, 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 all the the chicks that I I knew were into me, but I, I just had such poor game. It wasn't even game. I was totally outside the con. Just didn't have the confidence. Didn't I? Didn't know the thing about me. I didn't know that was possible. That's how blue pilled I was. I didn't think you were allowed like like that. That was possible that you could take a chick back to your apartment during the daytime without any alcohol involved. Without you know what I mean. I didn't think that was a thing that you could do as a guy. I thought it had to be like uh, in a you know. You had to like bring. You had to be drunk. You had to like you know. Had to meet them in a bar or a club. You know. You can't just like invite a chick back to your house during the daytime. And I know there's a lot of guys out there like that. You know, especially in Ireland. Um. Even like you know, some guy. You know, I've come so far. You know, I'm 32. So, like, I'm like an unbelievably different person. Uh, as to what it was like back then. Um way 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 different like it's it's such a different person i am now but um a lot of guys my age i have friends like old friends like that i occasionally you know you know link up well you know have a call with or you know message online and they still think like i how i thought back then friend friend of mine used it was uh you know was telling me that you know he couldn't you know go on on day you know he couldn't go on coffee dates, but or he didn't want to go on coffee dates because he he thought it couldn't lead to sex. He thought it was a waste of time. I say, like, wow, like man, you just you don't get it. You do not get it. I have banged so many. I have banged such an amount of chicks from coffee dates from from afternoon, like like broad daylight. We're having sex in my, on my sofa on my bed, you know, after you know meeting meeting at lunchtime. You do not need alcohol. Um, it's just not necessary. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it might, you know, and it's not, it's not a thing that I, oh, I'm against. I'm, I'm totally against uh, going for a drink with a girl at night. You can do that too. That's, that's just another way to do it. You just, guys need to just open their minds up, like open up, like stop, you know, being so narrow-minded about how, how they're gonna source women. Um. Because if you are narrow minded about narrow minded about it, um, you're gonna you're not gonna get as many uh, opportunities. Um, uh, 
Abby says, yeah, put yourself in positions to maximize social proof and maximize failure. High risk, high reward helps you learn fast, but do it in do it in congruence through though. Um yeah, very good. Very well put. Yep. High risk, high reward. That is a good uh good uh point. High risk, high reward. I mean, you know, the bolder risks you take, the the more rewards you can get, you know. There's been times where I've been like, you know, I've felt uncomfortable like approaching girls on the train in Japan because it's like Japanese trains are so trains are so quiet. But I, I went ahead, I just forced myself to do it and I ended up banging some of them, you know? Like if I didn't do it, I wouldn't have, you know, had sex. But it ended I took the move, I took action and you know, I got the contact and we went on a date and then we ended up having sex. Um you gotta like put yourself in uncomfortable unusual situations like challenge yourself it's like kind of embrace the challenge embrace the awkwardness embrace the like like the moment you know embrace the fact that it's like this weird thing that you're doing like if it feels like that you know um uh <clears throat> Javier says, I had twins pull me to their house uh, to have a threesome, and I'm realizing the missed opportunity after watching channels like yours. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, I guess you turned it down then. Um, well, I mean, that's, that's a, yeah, that's a kind of once in a life, well, yeah. Those, those kind of things are quite rare. Anytime I have uh, had a threesome, it's 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 always been... It's not been by girls dragging me back to their house like to have a threesome. I'll tell you that much. And to any guy wanting to have a threesome, don't expect that to, to ever happen. Uh, when I had them, I had to organize them. Um, you have to, and I've talked about this before, but the way to do it is to find one solid girl that is like your, your main plate uh not necessarily not maybe she doesn't even need to be your main plate but like a solid reliable girl that you're banging and she is on board to have a threesome you've just you've discussed it you've turned her out she's like she's into it she's a freak and she'll work she'll help you find another girl and um or you find another girl yourself but you have that one girl that can show up that you can say okay wednesday night you know 10 p.m come to my house another girl is coming like as long as you have that one girl because if you have two flaky girls like it's just it's so hard to it's so hard to like get them like you know you'll be like oh you're free on wednesday and she'll be like oh i'm not free on wednesday and this girl will be like oh i'm not free uh, and it's just really hard to bring three people together when they're like it is actually hard to bring three people together sometimes you know especially with chicks so that's what i'm saying you need one solid girl and then it's not that hard to get to have a threesome it's not one of these like unachievable things it's like you can do it it's fun um rishi says so what uh, were your experiences with women or orgasming like how did you know if they came like for me i can feel the vag squeeze my finger uh what signs did you notice um well there's there's different signs i mean there's there's like the you know twitching in in the like pelvis and 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 legs um sometimes legs like uncontrollably shaking um you know the vagina can like contract like can actually like move like it's like it's like pulsating like moving um or they can actually like squirt uh you know they can you know actually ejac like ejaculate like squirt all over um and that's not you know it's it's, it's i mean it's an ego boost but it's not it's it's actually it, you're gonna have to wash your sheets once they do that because if you look it up online it's it's part when a girl squirts it's actually partly part of that liquid is is actually piss so uh, it's pretty much these like when girls squirt they're like pissing um, it's mixed in with other kinds of fluids apparently, but um, that's why you'll notice it smells kind of bad. But um, other times, you know, they'll just uh, 
they'll close their legs up and they'll just they won't actually be able to take it anymore it'll be like they just like won't be able to take it like they'll just roll over and ball up because it's too like sensitive or they're like you know there's um that's why it's to say it's it's complicated for women like it's like sometimes obviously when the when the vagina is contracting and and put and like contracting and tightening and opening and tightening you know that you can't hide that that's like a clear as day orgasm but apparently according to women like if you read online about it like apparently sometimes they can have an orgasm and the, there won't be any visual such you know those kind of visual uh, clues uh, to it but um you know uh you should have a good idea i never i never ask a girl um do they how did they come because i i have a good idea you know i i i understand like i i can you can you can figure it out um i i know when a girl i know when girls have come um with me i have a good idea um uh Winston says, squirting can get annoying, gets floors wet and shit. <laughs> yeah. That's why um, in Japan, like whenever, I, if I ever I go to a love hotel in Japan, it's great because you can make the biggest, you can make as big a mess as you want. And, you, you know, you can go there for three hours and, and you can just bounce out or even an hour. You can, in Japan, you can rent like a, like a hotel room. It's pretty much like a hotel room. And some of them are pretty good and like, you know, proper, you know, it's pretty clean, you know, clean sheets, clean, even get two brushes, like a hotel room. And you can make a crazy mess in there and, and um, just roll out and it's all good. Um, last time I went to one was over Christmas and uh, <laughs> and uh, I just like, she was on, the chick was on the bed and I just covered her in, in oil and I like, ruined it. Like, you know, obviously, I would never do it at my house because, like, I used a full bottle. Like, I used a full bottle of oil. It was so good. It was just so fun to just make such a mess and not have to worry about it. Um, you know, it's, but if you did that in your house, you just destroy your mattress and everything. Like, oh, it was so good though, mate. It was great. If you ever, if you ever come to Japan, you have to, you have to try the love hotel experience. Um. Uh. AZ Marine Sniper says, sometimes they announce it. Yeah, sometimes they'll say it. I mean, at the same time, you know, you got to, some girls, like, a lot of girls, like, I've read studies. I don't ask me about statistics, but some girls, like, if they're not, if they're, if they kind of want to finish sex, they'll, they'll fake an orgasm and they'll say they're coming and, and they'll kind of fake it. But, you know, there's, uh, you know, if, if they're more, vocal about about coming without having the physical uh kind of signs or clues uh, such as like shaking legs or like contracting um uh, vagina it could be that they actually they're faking it but then again you know women are kind of strange unusual <laughs> creatures so yeah they apparently they can come with without having any uh you know strong like signals such as as shaking or contracting vaginas and again there's there's a clitoris orgasm and a a, a, a vaginal orgasm and apparently they're two different things which is weird imagine like as a guy you're able to have like various kinds of orgasms as far as i'm aware you're only able to have um one orgasm as, as a guy. Um, Javier says, I'm going to put it on my bucket list to go to a love hotel. Yeah, you got to do it. It's good. It's a weird experience. You go in and you, you don't actually interact with anyone. Um, it's just, uh, it's all done by screen. You just tap the screen, you put in your money, and you, you go in. Um Occasionally, yeah, it depends. It depends on the one you go to, but it is. It's a good time. You can order like cosplay. Like you can buy like sex toys in there. You can like. There's usually a big, massive like TV. Where if you turn it on, it's just gonna be like 
all kinds of crazy porn on it. It's it's wild. The Japanese are serious, some serious degenerates. It's 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 a, it's a weird country. It's a weird. Um, it's so conservative, but at the same time, it's very. Um, it's it's also very degenerate, and I, I think it's a good mixture. I do. Um, yeah, today I just I started ranting. I was supposed to talk about how I got into the red pill, um, but uh, there's I'll just quickly share. Um, I recommend two articles by uh, by Rolo Tomasi. Um, let me share it. Okay. Okay. So this. Uh, oh shit. So this was written by Rolo Tomasi in um, on August thirtieth, twenty eleven. Uh, there is no one. I highly recommend this uh, uh, reading for uh, anyone, pretty much. And um, some of you guys might have read it already, but my brother sent me this one. Okay, there is no one, and it's a very good read, and it, it re it's not even that long. Um, it's kind of very you can read that in like. Five, five or ten minutes. And it's really short, but it's it really it really opened my eyes. And the other one, let me get it up. Um, the other one, let me get it. Uh, the other one is called the final exam: navigating the SMP. These are must reads for anyone in the red pill. Um. Just very eye-opening. These, my brother sent me these in, in 2014. Yeah, you know, and it wasn't like it wasn't like I said before. It, it wasn't like an overnight like uh, thing where I just suddenly became red pilled and I I know everything and I'm just that's it. No, this this like was a long process. Um, but ultimately, these were the two. These were the two that got the ball rolling. Let's just say the 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 final exam. Navigating the SMP, and there is no one. Two articles. If you haven't read them, you should read them. They're good. Um, but uh, yes. Yeah, so, da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. Javier says, "I'm currently learning Japanese in my country. Good stuff, man. If you ever get a chance, you should. Um, you know, you could come out here. I don't know, go." Trank it out. You could get it, get out of here for a year or something. I don't know. It depends on what you, maybe you could teach English. I don't know. That's what I did. Um, get a, you get a working holiday. You could either, you could also get a working holiday visa. You could work at like, I don't know. There's a bunch of things you could do. Um, look into it. Uh, it's a cool place to be for sure. Uh, Rishi says, "What's your plan for the future? Do you plan on on having a main plate and still gaming the streets?" I mean, my plan for the future is like, I don't know. I mean, I'm always gonna be, I'm always gonna be. Uh, do you plan on having? I mean, I don't, I don't know what my my. You know, I'm always gonna be. I'm never gonna be monogamous. That's for sure. And if that's your, you know, that to put it simply like that, I'm not gonna be monogamous. Might possibly. I'm not saying I'm never. You know, I might have a main main chick at some point. You know, um, later down the line, um, who knows? But um, yeah, I mean, you know, day day game. It's just it's a kind of a lifestyle. It's like part of your life. Like it's not like, you know, it's just, you know, these days it's it's I don't I don't go out, like. You know, spending time on the streets, just like picking up chicks. I, I kind of do it on my way places. So it's like, I'm not, it's very time efficient, you know, and that's a better way to do it. You know, I would suggest guys should do that. Like just incorporate it into their life instead of going out just specifically to game, because that, that can create, that can create that kind of sense of like, um, the stink of desperation girls can kind of recognize that you're kind of loitering around. It's, you know, um, yeah. So, uh, Winston says you don't need a main plate when you're our, our Mac TDG. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Um, all right, guys. So uh, I probably going to call it there today. Um, I will be back tomorrow as usual. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out the links in the description. Uh, yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow for episode 62 of Player Life. Peace out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.